Let's see if you can answer this nth term sequences problem. So it says the nth term of a sequence is n squared plus one. So let's tackle the first part. It says find the first two terms of the sequence. So the first term of any sequence is n equals one. So that means that the second term must be n equals two. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna plug in n equals one into this. So where we see n, we're gonna swap this for one. So here we've got one squared. Then we're going to add on the one. So one squared gives us one. Add on the one gets us two. Then let's do the same with n equals two. So swap in two. So this now says two squared. So two squared plus one. Two squared is four. Add on the one gets us five. So the first two terms of the sequence is two and five. Next question, is 35 a term in this sequence? So how do we know this? Well, what we're going to do, I'm going to sort of do this one backwards. So I'm, I'm going to start by putting n squared plus one equal to 35. So I'm just going to solve this first and then I'm going to explain to you why this works. So let's solve this. So I've got the plus one. Let's do the reverse and take away one from both sides. n squared is what's left on this side. On this side, we've got 34. Now to get the reverse, the inverse of n squared, we're just going to square root. Let's square root both sides. I can cancel, cancel. But this one, the square root of 34 is something like five point whatever it is. Okay. Now, this is not a whole number. If the answer is a whole number, that means that it's in the sequence. If the answer is a decimal, that means the answer is not in the sequence.